Hello everyone, my name is Tiffany, I'm the Tipsy Artist. Today we are painting this adorable yellow bug with some gorgeous sunflowers and a really bright, happy um, sun who's smiling. So I just love this, this is such a fun project. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do it on canvas today, but it's also available in a tote bag. So we have a tote bag kit and then we also have a canvas kit. So this is our model here. And I just designed this on my computer and then we're gonna paint it today. All right, so I'm gonna place this off to the side and then really quick, let me show you the tote bag. So it's a nice big size like this. It's got a lovely little handle. And then a uh, few little helpful hints here. We'll talk about canvas transfer here in just a second, but when you're doing it on the tote bag, you can do the same thing, just transfer paper, line art, they can go over the top of our tote bag, but one of the things that's really important is to make sure that all of our work does not bleed through to the other side. That's um, with the Sharpie and also with the paint and everything. So with your kit, we have everything that comes in this lovely little cute plastic bag here. So this can be repurposed and also placed inside of the tote bag so that it can protect the other side so that it doesn't bleed through. So don't throw this away, <laughs> keep it and uh, use it for that. And if you did throw it away, then find something <laughs> like this to come into the middle, like a trash bag uh, works just fine. You could use a trash bag on the inside to go ahead and keep that from bleeding through. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and place this off to the side here and then we're gonna have a lovely aerial view for y'all to see up close what I'm working on. So I'm gonna switch camera views and here we go. Okay, all right. So let's go ahead and talk about all of our supplies here. So we have our uh, bucket of water. This is really the only thing that does not come in the paint kit. Everything else is included. So you should have everything that you need and then we've got your permanent marker here, pencil, this is for the transfer process. And then we also have your family of brushes, I call this mama, and then little buddy, and then little bit. And then here are your napkins to get all of your brushes cleaned up. And then we've got your paint plates here. And then I've got a little bit of a head start with some uh, Mars black and titanium white. All right, so I'll have this off to the side. All right, let's go ahead and talk about this transfer process. So again, this works on both the canvas tote or the canvas panel here. And your kit would come with a nine by 12. I'm actually painting on an eight by 10 today. It's a little bit smaller than what your kit has. Your kit has a larger canvas than what I have here. So, all right. So what we do is we go ahead and just center the transfer paper down. I've got my tape that I place here and here. I only secure the top. Uh, the reason being, I wanna be able to lift freely as I work and check all my tracing to make sure that I get all this line work done. So that's important. All right, so again, two pieces of tape here, just in the center, and then leave, these, leave all this free and open. Then I'm gonna go ahead and place the line art over the top. Again, just securing here and here and it's just centered. And then that way I take uh, my pencil and I just, wherever you see a line, you just go over the top, just firm pressure, just like you're drawing, but just over the top of my line. I've, I've created and uh, given you this perfect little guide. So it's just super easy for beginners. All right, so I have worked a little bit ahead here. And I can actually go ahead and take this off. And you want to be sure, really check your work, make sure the graphite line, again, it looks just like a pencil. So you can see how that looks. But that's how it's all going to look in the beginning. I'm taking this off. And I can actually just throw this away when I'm done. You're welcome to keep it if you would like. Um, it can be reused. 
Um, and then the transfer paper can get you a few more uses if you want, as long as you turn it in a different direction. All right, so toodaloo, transfer paper and line art. All right, so here we go. Now I've got, initially all of mine just looked like those pencil lines. And then I wanted to go ahead and do some hard black lines with my permanent marker. So I'm matching what I have created here. So of course I'll do my sun, uh, the interior part of the of each sunflower, the tires, the little uh, window here, and then this base here. Um, everything else has a soft line around it. So we're just gonna leave that graphite line in place with that transfer and then we will be all set. All right, so I'm gonna place these off to the side. Okay, your painting kit. So it'll look just like this, brand new to begin with. And then when you go to open it up, this is like an interior shot of what it looked like brand new. And then I like to reuse my paint here because, um, well, just to give you an idea, I think I've done, well, at least two or three or four paintings and this is how much I still have left over. So that is an awesome value. So I like to continue to use these. All right, so we'll be getting some more paint from there. I'm gonna grab a little bit of that primary yellow, that bigger containers off to the side. Okay. All right, so here we go. All right, the very first thing I'm going to do is we're going to use some primary yellow, which I went ahead and placed some out on my plate here. And then let's go ahead and grab some caffeine yellow here too. Just a little dollop there. Your brushes will be brand new. So they're probably gonna be pretty stiff. So what I recommend here is to go ahead and place them into the water a little bit. Let's go ahead and squeegee out that excess water. Let's go ahead and dry it off here on our napkins. Place these guys off to the side here. So now the brush doesn't have excess water in it. It's just moist and it's great, ready to use at this point. Nice and flexible. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and push into this primary yellow. And one of the things I love about this paint is it is so simple. And then you'll notice too that my permanent marker just bleeds right through without any blurring or distortion. It makes it just, I love it because it keeps that nice firm line. We don't lose that trace. So it makes this nice and easy. So we've got that bright yellow into that surface area. I'm not gonna do any detail work with the black at this point because I want this to set up and dry and I can actually come back in when all this is perfectly dry, then I can come back in with my permanent marker. All right, now I'm gonna come back in with my primary yellow and we're gonna go ahead and work into everything that is yellow. So there's a lot here. And all that black, of course, bleeds through, which is great. Makes this very easy. I'll just keep working this into the background. And if you have a little bit of overlap over that black uh, middle of the sunflower, that's okay. You can be a little bit sloppy with it because we're just going to come right back in over that center. We're going to be working with some brown and some black over the top of that. Again, this, great, this gives a really good foundation for the bright yellow color. And then also the sunflowers will definitely have more cadmium yellow and little hints of orange here in just a little bit. But for right now, we're just gonna go ahead and work in that nice base of beautiful bright yellow. Just working that in. And then with your texture, if you wanna like lightly feather it out, hold the brush a little bit more over to the side, parallel to the canvas. 
That'll help feather out those brush strokes. So initially you can hold it a little bit more like a pencil, just so you can really work into the space because it's definitely easier. A pencil hold gives you more precision when you're working into the smaller areas. But then once you've got that precise work done, then you can go ahead and turn that handle more over to the side. Again, I just love how easy this is. Because so much of the art therapy process is just about, you want to feel a sense of accomplishment. And I know I'm going to come in with a little bit more gray here over the top. So we can work that in. Now I'm going to feather out my brush strokes a little bit here. Hold that brush over to the side. And then let's go ahead and work all over the tops here of the sunflowers. Now I do want to be precise on the ends because we do have this white background or for example, if you're working on your tote bag, then you want to be more precise with the surrounding areas of the tote bag. So you want to stay within the confines of this shape. So if this part is making you a bit nervous with this large of a brush in those tiny little points, keep in mind you can always come in and use your little bit brush and you can do a little twirl, and just do a little demo here, a little twirl into that bright yellow paint. And see, you can work into those really tiny little points. So if this brush makes you more comfortable, certainly feel free to use a smaller brush. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my mama brush here. Sweet little yellow card. And I can come back in. I'm going to come back into this little window and touch that up a little bit too. So it's okay. So again, anything needs to be feathered out. Kind of turn that handle a bit more over to the side there. But we've got a great first layer. And I'm going to go ahead and rinse out here. And dry them off. All right, so next up, um, let's go ahead and work on our blue windows here. So, you know what? I take that back. As they say, a woman's right to change her mind, her prerogative. Um, let's go ahead. I've got my cadmium yellow already out. Let's go ahead and use some of that since it's out. And acrylic paint does set up and dry pretty quickly, so we do need to use it quickly when we take it out of the tubes here. Also, a little note is that we do have some silver foil lining on the tips here of the paint that always has to be removed and I'll just let the paint flow freely out of that. All right, so we've got um, some little triangular patterns form into the petals of that bright yellow that remains, but then around that is our orange and then our cadmium yellow. So I'm gonna take my little bit brush, make a little twirl into that color here. And I'm gonna to start to go around each and every little petal. You can add a little bit of water to this too to help it kind of flow into that space. So tiny little lines here. And no concern on the vibrancy of the orange at this point, we definitely come back in with more of our 
bright primary yellow over the top. So that's okay. Because it is looking very bright orange at this point, but that's not. It's just a layer. So just know that you build layers and a lot of changes can happen with more layers that are added. Keep coming around every single petal here on the outline. Grab a little bit of water that helps the paint be a little bit more fluid. At some point, too, we're going to have to make a decision on what's a leaf and what's what's a petal. That can be a little tricky. Um, thank goodness it's pretty organic, so it's not a crucial thing. If you change your mind and you have maybe more petals than these, it'll be all right. So I think uh, this right here is going to be a leaf. And there's another leaf in there too. I'm going to come back in here in a little bit. And, uh, when we do the leaves, I'll probably do some overlapping and create a few more of those. So in here, we have a few, these are some leaves that will peek through, or the greenery rather that extends from the stem and is the base of the flower. So we're all just working on this orange. I'll take this all the way around. And we can add whatever our water to help extend the paint a little bit. This is a little bit of the fun. And up here, we've got my screen. Got my petals here. All right, so that gives a nice little base. Now I'm going to go ahead and squeegee that out a little bit by doing a nice little twirl. I'm going to pick up more of this cadmium yellow. And we're going to work back over a second layer here over each little petal with the cadmium yellow. You can actually mix a little bit of bright primary yellow in with that cadmium yellow. Let's warm that up, lighten it up a little bit. And then we'll work back in over the top. And as you're working this in over the top, you can use a really light, gentle hand that will allow some paint to just, you know, rest gently on the surface area. It brings some nice little texture. So again, I'm going to a little bit more of this bright primary yellow to our cadmium yellow. Let's mix those two together and just do quick little touches 
over the top. And you can see how that's creating a nice soft blend into that orange, but then pulling out a nice light, bright highlight over the top here. So you can already feel how that bright orange is already being obscured by this bright yellow mixed with cadmium yellow. I'm just getting a nice thick dollop on the little tip here of the brush. I'm just doing soft little pulls into those shapes. Remember to position your brush to where the tip kind of goes into the smallest part of the petal. So you can also do a little twirl here again if you need to get your tip a little bit more thin. I just keep taking this all the way around. So I'm having to I'm going to turn my handle a little bit to position correctly, get into those angles. Small tip of the brush and a small tip of the petal. And you can also just turn your canvas too to help you get into that position. So it's looking very textural and beautiful. Okay. All right, it's looking good. And if you need a, you know, a third coat of that brighter primary yellow and that cadmium yellow, you can absolutely do that to add a little bit more texture. That looks great. We'll rinse out. All right, so now we can mix up a little bit of the green. So let's see here, we've got, let's do some bright yellow green here. A dollop of that. And then let's do some cadmium green. A little bit of that to play with. And in some of these really dark parts, I love a little bit of viridian in there, so it's a real tiny double event. Okay, so I'm going to do a little touch. I'm using my little bit brush, we're back to that, and I'm gonna grab some of that cadmium green and bright yellow green. We're gonna mix those two together. I'm gonna do a little twirl into the paint. So that loads up the brush, but it twirls it into a nice fine point to give you a bit more precision here. And then we're gonna go ahead and just make what feels like a little parentheses and then another little parentheses and close that off and then fill that in. And we'll start to fill in. So like up here, I have a little leaf at a second look, like, oh, that was a leaf, no big deal. So. This will cover well, and it will actually blend well with the yellows too. So like this is a leaf, so I'm gonna go ahead and just pull that in. And see that yellow even softly blends with the green a little bit and just warms it up. So it's all good. I have a little leaf in through there. And then over here, I've got two little touches of cream. And then we've got our little touches. So this will feel like, almost like a little soft curve or almost like when you make a little comma, it's gonna feel like that. So like a little comma, little comma. And let's turn the canvas 
in a position to where it feels a bit more natural. So we're still doing that natural comma feel. So again, just we'll switch directions. And let's turn it back to the other direction. And then we're just going to work in a little bit of green that kind of comes into the background here. All right, so we're good there. We'll twirl into that green. We have a little bit of some green coming through here. So this was a leaf. So we're going to go ahead and pull this down. We got little touches of that bright green. So in the basic feel here, we do a little leaf again. There's like little parentheses and little parentheses, and we kind of pull down, pull down to a little uh, taper right there. Do another one here. Have a little that bright yellow green. Have little touches of that. Do little highlights. Now I need a really fine line up here, so I'm going to go ahead and do a little twirl into this paint. Uh, just a little bit of water so I can get the line really thin. So I'm going to do a little twirl. I'm going to get a nice fine point. So I'm going to take this and follow the little stems here. Grab a more water so we can get a nice fine line that doesn't do that little dry brush on us. And then you can do little tiny, you know, touches. So you let the brush, the end shape do the work. So you just touch down. And we'll dot back in some more yellow here in a minute, but I'm going to dot in the green. And side to side, just going to touch down a little bit. We've got some texture. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and push into that viridian, that darkest teal color. Do a little twirl into that. And we've got that peeking up through here. The rounded leaf shapes here. Be very delicate with your hand. A little bit of water. And just a little bit of push right at the top. And here we go. A little bit of push just to use the rounded end of the brush. And then here. Push into that, that green area there. And another one here. And then you can pick up a little more paint too and just kind of barely touch down. Let a little bit more of that texture just rest on the surface area. And then you can have a little push of an accent on some of those lighter green ones up through the top. You add more of that viridian to this too if you want. Kind of a nice fun look there. And then in here. Hmm. Go ahead and rinse out. Now I'm going to take my little bit brush again. I dry it off really well. I'm going to dip into that primary yellow here. Get a nice little ball of that at the end of the brush. And then I'm just going to tap down. Just make little taps with just little tiny yellow flowers that are all over either side. This little flower here that's extending from this lovely bouquet out of a little 
convertible red. Tap, tap, tap. Really pretty. And the other one's out. All right, now we can go ahead and think about that blue a little bit here. So I've got my primary cyan blue. Let's go ahead and turn our mixing plate around a little bit. A little dollop of that. Then we're gonna add our white, our titanium uh, mark over here. Well, oh, over there. <laughs> And then um, our primary cyan blue, we're going to mix those two together. I'm going to keep adding a lot more white. I want that really, really light. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and kind of work this in a little bit here. And a little bit of water. The flow into the space. These are really gentle hands. And then we're going to work into this section, the current window. Just a line. A blue just right into here. It feels like a little parentheses. And then we'll use this to make this little curve here. Good job. And then again, a little twirl into that light blue. And it is what we're going to use for this accent color. So we're going to make a straight line that goes all the way across here. Right. And then we're going to touch back into the yellow. Now, I'm going to rinse out, grab some of this white. And just put it into the headlight here. Beautiful. And then we've got a much lighter amount of white with this light, light, light blue. We're going to make it even lighter. And we're just going to do some quick little diagonal lines that kind of pull through here. That reflective light on the window. Pull that down to a little point. Same thing here on this side. We're going to go in the other direction. Almost like little diagonal stripes there. Now I'm going to grab a little bit more yellow. I could have done this yellow in the beginning. I just missed it. So we can put a little yellow in here. And then here. Yeah, 
And then we're going to go back into that orange and scrub a little bit of water to mix in with that so we can get a nice fine point. I'm going to do a little twirl into that paint. I'm going to work into this little shape here that comes across. And also, I'm going to touch back into that cadmium yellow with that orange. We're going to mix those two together. Actually, I'm going to have a little bit of white too, so it almost becomes peachy. That's pretty. A little and a little swish in here. And we'll work in that fun peach color in here. And then around this curve of the metal, we're going to bring in that little peach, come around that curve. And we'll bring down that peach here. And then I'm going to soften this up with a little bit of the yellow right next to it. A soft blend into that. Get back into that peach and that orange, do a little coral into that, and that makes these light little lines here. Grab a little of that cadmium yellow. Let's get a little bit more of that here. A little bit of that cadmium yellow. And I'm going to fill in this little section here with that. And then this one. And then this one. And now here's going to be more of that orangey peach we're going to go and fill in here. All right, next up we need a little bit of some brown. So that requires some mixing. So we're going to use our cadmium orange and then a little bit of black with that. We've got our brown. Again, that's black with the cadmium orange. Put a little twirl in here. And this will make that nice line around the window. That's going to be our brown. Go ahead and scrape some of that in. Well, at the end of the brush, we're going to go ahead and do a nice thin line over here. Okay. And then a line of brown there. And then we're going to fill all this in with that brown. And then another curve here with the brown. And this is a little different than, than the illustration, but I've got my brown over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and make, give it a little bit of symmetry, really light hand. And we're just gonna finish out with that brown. Get a little bit of water there, twirl the end of the brush. And we'll have this go around the edge on this side. And then finish that out there. And then here. Perfect. All right, now we're going to get more of this brown again. It's our black and our orange. And then we're going to finish out these little tiny sunflowers. Do the little circles in the middle here.
Noticing. Really delicate here. Look around those little petals. Okay. Great. And then we'll go ahead and get back. And I'm going to touch up my little tires and add a little bit of water to this so it's really fluid and easy to move. Great job. Same thing here on the other side. And then we're going to fill in this little base here. Kind of tie you up with a little bit more black. I'm going to grab some water. It makes it more fluid, easy to move. Wonderful. Okay. So then the last detail would be the face here. And this paint is definitely all dry in here. So that's good. So I'm going to go ahead and use it. It's so much easier just to use the permanent marker here. So I'm going to go ahead and just refill this in over the top to reinforce that face and kind of tidy up where that, that uh, yellow may have got over the top there so we tidy up with the black see that really makes it pop back out again very pretty and then i just have a few more places i want to add just a little bit of some i'm seeing some green leaves that i can add back in so i've got my little bit brush we just have a few more little touches i bring this to a little point There and a little touch there. And sometimes you'll just see a few places that need like just a little second coat. Yeah, a little bit, and then we're gonna go in with that just a little touch of white. And Again, like, like a little highlight here and here, and then here and here, and then a little white highlight here. And then just do a little curve there, a little curve there. Everything. All right, it's looking beautiful. I love it. All right, so I think we are done on design our masterpiece. So if you've got the tote bag, I totally understand if you don't really want to sign it, you certainly can. Uh, the canvas, I'm going to go ahead and do a little sign here. And I'll just use my permanent marker. It's just so much easier. Ta-da! We are finished. Yay! Okay. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. It has been so much fun. Such a bright, cheerful project. We love it. All the supplies that you need are on our website at tipsyartist.com. Thank you again so much. Much love to y'all. Toodles! <laughs>